Hello and welcome to EVE Basics. Today we're going to cover combat basics, specifically PvE combat basics. PvP is a whole different game, so we're going to focus on PvE today. I have here the cute little Tristan that I built from uh, several videos, and he's with us today here. He's going to help me show you combat basics. Now the first thing we got to know about combat is how far away from stuff do we want to be. It affects how we attack it and what we're doing. If you hit escape and open up your shortcuts, there's a few uh, hotkeys that you need to know as well. Um, one is what your orbit hotkey is set to. Mine's O for orbit, but I think the default might be W. I don't know. Um, you need to know your orbit hotkey, your keep at range hotkey. Um, dr everything about your drones, if you have drones, um, your engage, return in orbit, return to drone bay, and launch drones are all really good ones to know off the top of your head. Uh, the faster you can hit the hotkeys, the better off you're going to be. Um, so look for those. Make sure you know what they are. I've already accepted this level 1 security mission here. And I've got my little Tristan. And the first thing i got to check before I head out into the wild is make sure i got enough ammo and make sure i got enough drones in my drone bay. Um, the other thing you want to do before you head out on missions is uh, click the repair shop. Click the, <laughs> why do I have a Tristan called Taco Bell in here? I should have cleared him out. He's just embarrassing. But we're going to do the Eve's Basics Tristan here. We're going to click Repair. Uh, he actually has a slightly damaged Hobgoblin. This will repair not only your ship if it's damaged, but also any of the drones that are on there. And so I'll repair this drone. Sure, why not? Make sure all your drones are at full health in that way. You won't get out there, start launching your drones, and realize that most of them are beat to shreds. So, uh, you know, repairing is good. Okay, we're going to undock here, and we're going to go uh, fight this mission, and I'll kind of explain to you what I'm doing along the way. Okay, in order to get there, this fortunately just has a warp to location thing. We're going to make sure that our guns are grouped. I'm going to ungroup them here. When you build a brand new ship, your guns are ungrouped like this. But this causes you to have to push two buttons, and that's too many. So if you push this little group all weapons, they'll group up like that, and then they're just on the one nice hockey. I always put my guns on F1, because why not? Um, and I always used to put my afterburners in F2, because why not? And all the passive stuff, you can actually hide this, too. It doesn't really matter, but I like to have it down there because it's pretty. So when we warp to the mission location, we run into an acceleration gate. This is a little gate that will shoot you into the other parts of the mission. So if you hold left-click and do that, or you can also right-click it and push activate gate, whatever you want to do. There's lots of ways to do it. There's also a hotkey for that as well, if I remember right. Um... Yeah, activate gate. It's the same as your dock and jump and activate gate. It's, for me, it's J for jump. I don't think that's the default. So here I am. I'm warped into the mission. Now, I like fighting in close because it looks cool. But when you get here, you got to get the lay of the land. So zooming out, rotating around, kind of figuring out what's going on. It looks like i got three clumps of guys. And when they go yellow on me like that, that means they are uh, locking me as a target. And when they start to go red, that means they're going to be firing stuff at me. So I'm going to turn my afterburner on. And I'm going to put Shift F to get my Hobgoblins out into space. Now, first thing we want to do is pick off the close groups. So I'm going to hold Control and left click on these guys. That will start me locking. And then these guys are coming at me. So I am going to send my drones with F engaging onto this guy to beat him up. I'm, of course, going to know my drone engage range from in here. So I know I can send them up to 49 kilometers away. And you're also going to hover your guns and know your optimal range. My optimal range is within uh, 938 meters. If you hold left click on here, you can set your default orbit to a certain amount by just kind of holding left and dragging out. I'm going to set my default orbit to 500. I want to get in as close as I can. And I'm going to start orbiting this guy here. I'm going to hold, oh, that's my orbit key, but yours might not be. And I'm going to left click on him. And all of a sudden you can see that now my Tristan's going to start taking off. We're going to put my drones back in because I don't want them to kill everything before I get done explaining. So my Tristan with his afterburner on will get into a pretty tight orbit around this guy. And once I get into range of this, uh, once I get close to my optimal, about a thousand meters away, I'm going to turn my guns on right about now. And they will just auto fire and I will be orbiting this guy until he dies. The thing is when he dies, I will just shoot off into a random direction. I will not be orbiting him anymore. 
So he's blown up. So now my Tristan's just flinging off into space. So the second you're done with one guy, uh, if you don't want to just fling off randomly into space, start locking more people up. Hold your orbit, left click on them, and get back in there. So, you know, I'm launching my drones again with Shift F here. Um, I'm almost close enough to this guy to start turning my guns on. Close enough, let's blow them up, and I'll set my drones on this guy with F. So you can have multiple things going on on different targets. And uh, every once in a while, you kind of need to zoom out to see what's going on, how many guys are coming close to you. Like these guys back here, they're pretty far away still, 30, 40 kilometers. They're not even really a threat. So now both my targets are dead, so I'm going to pick some new targets. I'm going to go orbit this guy, and I'm going to send my drones out to this guy. So I can be killing two things at the same time if I need to. Um, and once I get that guy down, I'm going to talk a little bit about keep at range. Now, keep at range, if I want to play this uh, Tristan this way, I could just play it as a straight up, I turn my drones in. If I hold left click on him, I can set a keep at range distance here. We're going to go with uh, 45 kilometers. And I'm basically just going to target some guys here. So I'm going to actually keep at range. I'm going to hold K and left click this guy. And uh, my Tristan will attempt to fly up to 45 kilometers away because that's what I set my default keep at range to. Um, and he looks like he's going to make it. Now, what this allows me to do is just work with my drones, or if I had long-range guns. These guys won't even ever get close enough to me to do any damage to me at all. Uh, I know that these are frigates here, and they, they have fairly short-range guns. Um, so my drones just blew that guy up, and now I have to keep at range again, because my, my target that I was keeping at range from just died. So if I don't re-give the command on the new target, my Tristan will just sit there in the middle of space, and you never want to be sitting there on a frigate, ever. Nobility is your greatest ally. So my drones are blowing those guys up, and in the meantime, I'm going to keep at range from these guys. They're coming towards me, and I don't want them to. So I'm holding down K and left-clicking on them. Your hotkey will, will be different, and your mileage may vary. And I'm going to send my drones over there. I'm basically just using my ability to get away from these guys as my tank. In fact, so far I've taken uh, 50 damage. Not impressive, EOM Incubus and friends, not impressive. So that's more of a keep it range strategy. I find keep it ranging to be very boring in PvE, but there certainly are some ships that can take great advantage of it. So I'm going to switch back to the orbiting strategy, but I'm going to keep sending my drones in. We'll see if I even get there before my drones finish off all these guys. I'm pretty fast in my little Tristan, but my drones are pretty fast too. Remember, once the target you've given a command to orbit or to keep at range dies, you need to give it to a new target, otherwise your ship will stop moving. And it doesn't know what to do with itself. But now my drones are just shredding all these guys before I even get there. Um, so uh, my skills are fairly, this is my main, so my skills are fairly high. You're, you might have to use uh, a mix of, of orbiting and drones to really deal with some of this stuff. Um, this is just all a demonstration. So then again, when you kill stuff in security missions, sometimes more dudes just show up. So what you see at the warp in the initial fight, it might not be what you end up with. So, you know, you got to be a little bit careful about that. The other thing you need to watch out for during combat is if your drones start taking damage, whatever drone has drawn aggro, you need to right click it and you need to return it to your drone bay. Um, it's going to save you a little bit of time. Drones do require a little bit of micromanaging in missions from time to time. In this one, nobody's been targeted yet. Um, but it can happen where they draw aggro. And if they do, you need to just pop them back into your drone bay. Their shields will regenerate in there. Uh, their armor and, and hull will not, but that's okay. That's what the repair shop's for after the mission's over. So maybe this will be the last guy. Shoot him with our guns to make sure. Okay. Yep. Nobody else is showing up, and it's giving me the dock uh, icon here, which means I can go back to base. Now, here are all the wrecks. Okay. If they have a little gray box inside, that means there's loot in there. If you hold left click and go to open cargo, or you can right click and say open cargo, uh, there's lots of ways to do it. You have to be within 2,500 meters, and it'll open it up. Ooh, there's stuff in there. Loot all. Um, I have found that looting uh, and, and in level 1 missions is not really that lucrative, but it can be kind of fun. Um, 
and flying around to all of these ships with your frigate doesn't take terribly long, but there are better ways to do it that we'll talk about in another video. Once I've cleaned out the boxes, there is an empty wreck here. This can still be salvaged using uh, salvager modules that will turn this uh, wreck of a ship into handy dandy ingredients that you can use to uh, construct other things or sell on the market. So what am I going to do? I'm going to warp back, but not before I pull my drones in. Shift R, everybody back in the Tristan. Leaving drones in space will make you sad. Please remember to put them back in. And then I'm just going to click dock because I've done my work here. And we're going to go turn this mission in. Um, that's the basics of combat, at least in a drone ship with uh, these railguns. Uh, combat is pretty straightforward. Um, there are some really great websites that will let you know what the mission is going to be like if you so desire to look it up ahead of time. I don't think that's necessarily relevant until level 4 security, when if you don't know what's coming up, you can actually lose your ship sometimes. Um, you just, if you're careful and you use uh, a mix of orbiting and uh, keep at range, uh, depending on what kind of ship you're flying, you should be in pretty uh, good... Uh, hands. So there we just finished our mission and I hope you liked my video and leave me some comments if you have any questions about how to fly your ships. All right, see you next time.